Welcome back. You're watching Editor's Roundtable. As promised, we've got Mihir Vora with us, CIO of Max Life Insurance. Uh, Mihir, great to see you. First, what happened this week, right? What explains this kind of sell-off that we had? I think it's just one of those days where, uh, or weeks uh, where we are reacting, probably overreacting to global events. Okay. Uh, people are saying COVID and all those kind of reasons, but last couple of days China is actually up <laughs> where, where COVID is supposed to be spreading. So uh, maybe a bit of year-end uh, lack of buying from FIIs. A couple with people squaring off their books, uh, that's what it looks like. So as no account. reason for the markets to sell off from here on? Uh, well, if you see from the global perspective, I would, if I was the FII, if I was over at India, then I actually done pretty uh, well, you know, uh, and towards the end of the, uh, uh, if I were a hedge fund, towards the end of the year, I'm going on a vacation on, tw on 24th, I probably am want to, you know, square off my books and uh, cut some overweight in India. That's what's probably happening. S&P is down 20% for the year in the U.S. while we are still flat. So there is some money, you know, to be taken off uh, as far as profit being concerned. Meir, are you getting a sense that the retail investors are now panicking? Because, you know, this week's fall largely explains non-institutional activity picking up and that's the reason for a sharper fall. Uh, I know, you know, the SIP money is very sticky, the EPFO money is quite sticky, but the direct investment money which retail investors are putting in, are you getting a sense that that's now getting questioned and that's now getting withdrawn as well? Maybe a bit of that, because if you see the sharpest fall has not even been in the mid-cap index. Yeah. It's been in the small-cap index. Right. Uh, while the Nifty is, say, plus 2% this year, uh, the small-cap index is minus 20. Yeah. So a little bit of capitulation may be there in some of the counters. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of natural that in a rising interest rate scenario, the smaller companies tend to get hit more. Right. And that's probably one of the reasons why we've seen in the last two, three months, small caps not performing, mm -hmm. because cost of funds for them actually is very sensitive. Right. Actually, 2022 has been an extraordinary year, right? It's a, it's a very abnormal year because uh, we took it, it because the market outperformed so much, ignoring what was happening to the rest of the world. Uh, and it happened over and over and over again. It never fell, right? It, yeah, it fell one and then there was a sharp recovery. And even more versus the other markets. Uh, correct. Absolutely. So we took it to be normal. I mean, this is the way the market is always going to be. Maybe that kind of changes a little bit as we head into the next year, 23. I mean... I wouldn't make that, uh, uh, you know, conclusion just on the basis of the fact that we've fallen from 18,800 to 17,900 because just three months ago we'd seen a similar kind of move. So these six percent, seven percent moves are are not to be, you know, taken too it's seriously. You're not used to it. Six percent. Well, at the cost of being beaten up in the, on this kind of a day, it's a healthy correction, I would say. <laughs> but uh, you never know, yeah. IT bull or bear? IT, I'm negative uh, because I'm more... But buy into the weakness? No, uh, I would rather buy into the domestic uh, stocks which are fallen, which have fallen more. Some of the financials have fallen quite a lot mm. in the last uh, you know, couple of months. Mm. So I, I'm more bullish on the domestic PSU recovery. Banks. So, uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Within financials, will you look at PSU banks? Uh, the fall? PSU banks, again, for me, is more of a tactical play. Okay. If, if it's a three to five year buy and hold call, mm -hmm. I would still uh, stick to the private sector banks. But yes, uh, those valuation you know, gaps uh, sometimes tend to get uh, extreme. Uh, so when the, the private sector banking space, mm -hmm. uh, if it's done 100% and the PSU banks have gone, gone up only by 20%, then you will see 20, 40% move in that space too, just for the valuation right. part. But finance have presented some data. Sure. Interests you? Uh, can't comment on specific stocks, uh, but in general, I would still go for private sector banks versus NBFCs given the funding costs. Okay. You know, the last time we spoke, you kind of sounded that you are exploring new age tech companies. Yes. Has anything changed? Have you bought anything? Uh, I think in the last uh, couple of months, uh, things have become even more attractive and we are nibbling into the space. You've started buying? Yes. Anything yeah. else, Mir, apart from uh, financials, new age? Uh, See, my, my hope and uh, fervent wish is that industrials do well. Mm. Because unless the industrials, investments, capex cycle picks up, we won't go to 7%, 7.5% GDP growth rate. That has to pick up, including real estate. Uh, and valuations are still very attractive in this segment. So with a little bit of trigger, you can see huge outperformance in the capex, industrials, engineering, construction, those kind of things. One last word, defense. I think that was a space you were interested in. You were optimistic, bullish. Uh, stocks have doubled, right? Uh, but it has so corrected sharply now in the last one week. Yes. So the stocks are down 15, 20%. Yes, but that's, I think, a secular story which has just started in the last oh, couple of okay. years that can last for many years. Right. So, so it's basically a buying opportunity uh, I would level. So, yes, yes. Thank you so much for uh, dropping by me here. All and we find that, uh, we, we hope that you find easier traffic on your way out than <laughs> on the way in. He was supposed to be with us earlier at yeah. yeah. the start of the show. But this seemed like a rapid fire, right? With him. But thank you very much, Yogi, for thank you. Thank packing you. in a punch. And season's greetings to you. You too. Your family and everyone Absolutely. at uh, Max Life Have Insurance. a great uh, 2023. Happy investing.
Thank you. Well, with that, it's a wrap in this edition of Editor's Roundtable. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you once again.